Higgins. I am too old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am the singer and guitar player for the Something Somethings and Bumbles Bounce. I started playing guitar when I was 14 years old when I asked for a keyboard uh, and my parents got me guitar and lessons instead. I learned how to play from a guy named Dave White. He owns White's Music in North Attleboro. Uh, I had almost quit playing guitar because the teacher I had really wasn't a good teacher. And I think that's what's really important. I had one lesson with Dave. He taught me the D chord and I was hooked. I, when I first started playing, I wasn't good. So I didn't think I could do it. Uh, but eventually that's what you do. You, you play, you learn on your own. You start playing with someone else. You have a band. Now what do you do with it? You go play somewhere. And at first you really suck. Then you suck some more and then you get better. And you keep doing it and you really get a passion for it. My older brother had a lot of records and he listened to a lot of things. When he played Cheap Trick, I was hooked and I started playing all his records. And whenever he'd come home after uh, I was listening to his records, he would beat me up because I listened to his records. But it was that rock and roll punk attitude that I really liked. So that's definitely what got me into rock. Cheap Trick is one of the bands that motivated me. Um, because that was the first time I really heard rock and connected to it. But musically, it gets strange, because when I was young, I loved Stevie Wonder. He was, I'd hear him on the radio and ask my mom, who's that? And that's Stevie Wonder. And then I'd hear it again, a different song, and I kept asking, it was always him. And then I saw him on TV once, and he was blind, and that just blew my mind, and I said, if he can do it, you know, I bet I can do something like that too. Since 1984, I've been playing guitar, so that's, you do the math. That's a long time. <laughs> That's a really long time, and it's, I don't want to do the math myself. <laughs> life happens, and you write about life. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you, you could be driving, and you just hear a, a phrase, and all of a sudden it gets you an idea in your head, and then you're just writing stuff down, you're looking for pen and paper, you're voice texting yourself just to give yourself some ideas. Uh, and then it, it comes, it just, it just happens. Once, the more you write, the better you get. So if there's any advice to ever give anyone, it's keep writing. There's really not much else. You just write a set list, and, and off you go. There was once we played the Madeira Feast in New Bedford. I was in a, a Scar Tissue, it was a Chili Peppers tribute band. And there was a couple thousand people there and we owned the crowd. I had a move in, I, just, I jumped in the crowd, they were all singing, they lift me up. It was just, it was awesome. Music doesn't take a lot of time for you to have to make time for it. There are times I'll have a guitar sitting on a chair and I get home from work and I'm rushing around. I can just pick it up, strum, ting, ting, and a melody pops in my head and now I'm, now I'm thinking that all day. So you find the time, you always find the time. And it's, sometimes a song, will, you write it in two minutes, sometimes it'll take you three weeks because you get frustrated, but there's always time. The writer's block is something that sometimes if you're trying to force something, it just doesn't work and it ends up sounding stupid and it's not something you're proud of, so you gotta walk away from it. You just walk away. You're in the middle of writing something, you have words down, but you're not saying what you wanna say, so you just, it gets frustrating, you have to just step back and, and come back to it another time or else it's not gonna feel real. Performance anxiety is something completely different. Um, when you first start playing, it's terrifying to go out on stage, but when you get the confidence and you're comfortable with what you're doing, you're proud of what you're doing, it doesn't matter that you're going on stage. Well, to some people, some people still throw up before they go out there and they've been playing in front of thousands of people all the time. Do I have advice for people that want to give up? Don't. No, you just got to persevere. You're going to suck. Dave Grohl actually talked about that once. Um, and you do, you just got to suck. And if you realize, you may, I didn't realize I sucked. I didn't know, but I did. And I listened back and it's horrible, but that's what gave you your chops to keep playing. So just don't quit. I'll probably write till I die. Even if it's just myself, just grabbing a guitar and I just come up with something and I like it, I'm just gonna keep doing it. Because why wouldn't you? It's, uh, it's, what, it's not what I do, it's who I am. <laughs>